Now, right, now, right now, Bill, uh, taking the uh, pork chops off the hog, the way that you do that is you take the saw. The hog's already been split in half, so you have the pork chops laying there. The pork chops come from the backbone, and you see it laying right there just as it is. When you see it in the grocery store or at the supermarket or wherever you see it, they have to do the exact same thing that we do. A lot of times they're doing it with an air-driven machine. This is the pork chops. Okay. The whole thing's going in there. Everything's cooled, which it is right, right now. Right. You can actually take it and process it now and split and get hand. it worked up. But that's exactly what will happen. The pork chops will get cut down across here just like this. We never up here on this end, yeah, we call this the butt end of the, butt end of the chop. Like chop. Up on the other end, call that yeah. the chop. Cut that Cut the off. Cut the Yeah. Most people, when you see the pork chop in the supermarket or at the store, you, uh, someone has a lot of bone in it, it's a little bit oblong in shape, it doesn't quite look like a pork chop with a T-bone in it, that's where that comes from. My family, most of us, we're going to take the end of this, once you get rid of the center cut chop, start to get down into some bone and things like that, they're going to probably take a two and a half to three pound roast off of that end, makes a pretty good meal for a family of four. I guess it depends on how hearty, heartily you eat. Now, what he's doing is extracting the rib, the rib cage from the uh, from the hog. Now, ribs, our family, the way we usually like to cook ribs, we don't. Uh, my freezer does not allow for me to have a whole rack of ribs in it normally, so we routinely take the ribs off like this. Then you would take and slice them across there three times gives you a and we put two ribs together when we cut it like that in other words we would cut it here like this and again like this put two ribs in a pack and that'd be about you know me personally I like about four of them for a serving of ribs from the white fixing um, we, we won't do it back in the day you used to do that with a axe and crop them, but now we kind of do it with a bandsaw but we got different equipment at home. We're only showing you this because if you didn't have the electric, which they didn't have, this is what you would do. Yeah, you can saw that by hand. But I'll tell you what, when you've got a bandsaw, you go zip, 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 zip. I mean, come on. We, we don't mind working, but we're not going to work all day. <laughs> we're already doing this here for your all's benefit. We can do this in our home easier. But when you go to the rib place, this is what you're going to get. You take anything else off of it. Actually, a lot of the rib places, they'll leave a little more meat on than what he's leaving on right here because that's their market. They're selling the meat on the rib. Brian. But you don't really want to sit there and pick your bones. But we are either going to make that's bacon or sausage or whatever out of the bacon that's left here. Oh, we don't, if no you all have questions, if you don't ask them, I don't know that you don't know. So you don't have, you have to answer. ask the questions for me to answer. You look at the prices in the grocery store, and it looks like the pork industry exists to produce baby back ribs, and everything else is a byproduct. <laughs> well, not to be smart, but yes, it uh, is that way, and the producers yeah, believe me at the price they're getting for the haul. He isn't making any money. No, it's he's in room, boy. Oh, okay. The price of corn and things like that. I try not to get into any political or, or uh, financial things today, so we won't talk too much about yeah, loss of money. Gotta tell them about age. These hogs are big <laughs> compared to your commercial hog. Uh, give me a weight on this hog, for somebody can. This hog live weight was 290 pounds. And most of the time, what, 240, 250? 240 to 250. That's where they want them. They want every piece of meat to weigh the same. But some of the other homes, I think it's probably heavier than that. But the two homes hanging over here are about 350 pounds. Now, okay. Right, because the way I cut that there, I still had to cut the lawn, and I know Brian likes to cut the lawn. Mm -hmm. yep. Believe it or not, here's the Anything else done to these? Because I, I don't know whether the way they were cooking it or what. But my grandfather and I used to kill hogs for 
Yeah. You get a piece of jewelry. And a lot of the people in West Virginia, they put the pickle in the sausage. It depends on how well you like sausage. Personally, I don't have a plan. Now, 